guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another in the series of Scrap Skills Saturday. I have to think about that so hard. So today I am going to be um, using some acrylic paint as my kind of skill to work on and also doing some tonal stamping. So this is inspired by um, a Sue's Fish layout. I will link um, the Wild Hair kits below, which is the kit I'm using to help with this. And I'll also link the Sue's Fish video. So I'm starting off here with some Periwinkle Blue um, acrylic paint. And I'm just um, painting that on in a kind of, with a fairly dry brush. This was the biggest brush that I could be bothered to find to be frank I've got larger brushes but I just that one was close by so I used that one and I'm just painting that on this kind of herringbone style background like marble print background which is flourish from the uh, Heidi Swap um, Hawthorne collection um, it's I guess it's the B side of that um, and I've painted this periwinkle blue and the picture I've got there is a pretty picture of my kittens oh. Who are now cattens really um but the blue and the greys looked really nice with that picture and so here i'm using a blue archival ink um in i don't remember the actual color name but i'm using always and forever which is a stamp set from heidi swap which um, i received in my wild hair kits so i'm just using that it's kind of like a um, semi-circle shaped stamp that's pretty cool and i like the colors of that it was more um, similar in tone with the second generation stamping than the first one. Um, and then I've added some splatters. So with my acrylic paint, I just mix um, quite a bit of water in with that. And then I'm just dabbing that dry just because I can't bother to wait. <laughs> so dab, 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 dab. Um, the paper that's backing my um, little picture of the kittens there is called Caper. Um, and it's a Pink Fresh Studio paper. You can see the back of it there, but um, I didn't use the back. <laughs> and then I'm also using a piece of this packaging from uh, Pink Fresh Studio die cuts, which I received, which you can just see in my um, paint dish at the top there. Um, my paint palette dish. It's really cool. I got that from a, um, an antique shop, actually. And here I'm just cutting a Project Life card down that I got from the kit as well. I really like that pattern, so I'm intending to use that again, which is why I'm... Um, being quite sparing with my application of that. And then I'm sticking a whole load of double sided tape on. And there it is. I just tore the edge of that caper paper. <laughs> what a rhyme. Because um, I thought it looked, looked cool, adds a bit more interest. And then here I'm adding some vellum on the back. I just love using vellum at the moment. I got this, like a huge job lot of vellum from um, Amazon. So don't have to use it sparingly, so I'm not. <laughs> And here I play around with this, the placing of this. Um, I decided to use this die cut from the Pink Fresh Studio die cuts called Carefree. Um, and it has um, kind of bright colours in it, but the blue kind of went with the layout. And I thought I could easily add the rest of um, those kind of colours into the layout with the things I had in the kit. So Carefree is stuck down um, there. And I bumped it up on some foam. And then I've added that little set of tiny letter stickers, which are from a, um, oh, illustrated faith kit of like letters, which I also received in my kit. And that just spells out kittens. So it says Carefree Kittens is my title. And here I'm just using some labels. So I had these label die cuts just in my stash. And I just got some colours out that kind of matched along. And here I'm just trying to find some die cuts from that Pink Fresh die cut set. Take it easy at the bottom makes it onto the layout. The other two don't. <laughs> Neither does that one. Um, I love that cloud actually. I kind of, I kind of wish I'd used that, but I didn't have any other clouds in there. So I use that little flower down the bottom just to bring the red across. So I've got the red at the top now, red at the side, red at the bottom. So just bringing those colours through. And here, these Pink Fresh Studio puffy stars. Oh, I love these so much. Um, I actually requested these in my kit but I didn't know what they were called I just said please if you have puffy stars stickers can I have them um and I just love them so much and I fiddle around with the colours of these and where to place them um quite a bit throughout the rest of this video really I use this blue um stamp again with 
or blue ink again with the date, which was June 3rd, is it? No, 30th um, of this year when I took that picture of the kittens. I was using my DSLR camera, um, which I'm still learning how to use. And the aperture was set hmm, too high. I'm still learning in case you can't tell. But uh, yeah, basically it was overexposed. But I still really liked how the picture came out. The ones where it's slightly less exposed do look a bit nicer, I think. But um, I still love that picture. And Olive's fur looks really blue in the way that it kind of printed. So um, that was the inspiration for all these colours. And it is rare for me, I think, actually, to start with the picture, but I kind of saw that picture and then I saw the paper and I was like, ooh, match made in heaven. <laughs> so I'm going to use some more stamps again from this highly swapped stamp set. I just love stamping. I've <laughs> probably got problems, but I've got so many stamp sets, it's unreal. But um, I'm just stamping Love You. Oh, because I do love my kittens. And then I'm going to stamp that down there as well and do a little bit of ghost stamping or whatever you call it underneath. I don't think that is what you call it. But. Um, and then I'm going to add some journaling. So I am just going to add this with a black pen and I'm just ruling some lines to write my journaling on. I can't for the life of me remember what I wrote. What did I write? Something about how cute they are, probably. <laughs> That's literally all I think every day when I see them. I mean, goodness knows how people deal with having children. Um, yeah, I'm just moving these stars around. I'm pretty much done with this, to be honest. Um, I squiggle some stars around and then I stick it down. I'm using some tacky glue. This is my first time using this glue. It's like in the UK, um, the glues that lots of other people use, well, I find difficult to get hold of. But I tried that one, which come from the range. Seems okay so far, but we'll see. And there is the hand dance that indicates that this layout is done. And I do really like it. It's very relaxed and calming. I think it shows kind of how the kittens must have felt. <laughs> So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell button so you can get notifications when I post. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.